Hi, my name is Muhammad Usman Khan and I am going to show you auto repair workshop system. It is a completely fully fledged system which I have created using Odoo, Samantha, Enterprise or Community Internet. It is uh, almost more than 5300 lines of code and it is a completely full fledged automation system for your workshop. Actually, I have created a complete system and I am going to go to the overview and demo of this system. In this system, first of all, you have to activate uh, the module from the Odoo apps, uh, which you can, uh, which I will be building for you, and you need to install the system. Then, after uh, activating the system, you will see uh, a lot of applications uh, which will be automatically installed in Odoo. Then, first of all, I am going to create fleet. I am going to create a new fleet. Okay, and I'm going to show how your auto workshop system works in a complete workflow. Okay, let's suppose we have a uh, we have a car which named as A5, and then we will be giving it name 5 Okay, then giving it a name as uh, we can give it a tag uh, to identify the okay. Then I'm creating a tag. I have created a tag. You can also see the previous tags here also. Okay. Uh, here uh, I'm selecting the driver. Uh, Usman Gas will be the driver, and then uh, what will be the future driver for the system? I'm going to give you a complete fleet overview in this, and then uh, let's pause vendor. Okay. Uh, I have created this. Uh, you can also create uh, how to create this. I will I will be showing to you. Okay. Uh, this is the chess number. You can. Uh, that the chess number is random. I'm doing random, and this is odometer. You know already what is odometer. Okay, uh, then location is uh, uh, UK number. Okay, and then uh, you can select the model of the model uh, of your card as 2023 and transmission of automatic or manual color. You can also select. You can select the number of the number of the seats and also other things. I will be selecting that in the next. Okay, a note you can also write the descriptive notes in this uh, option. Okay, text info and then okay. You can also uh, here it is the system where a, a new driver will be uh, driver can apply from here. Okay, and this is the system. Uh, I'm just showing. Uh, this is not the module. Actually, this is this uh, module integrated with the fleet uh, and internal application of Odoo. Okay. And then selecting this uh, reminder and then we can add the products from here actually I have created a, uh, two new products uh, tiles let's uh, see how we can create products in Odoo okay let's create product okay uh, we are create uh, how you can create product in Odoo this is a new, new product and then Let's close file. Okay, product. And then th this is a storable product. And if I'm giving a service, let's suppose I'm giving a service for uh, uh, wash, washing, washing car. And or we can also give the service for repair, repairing. Okay, repairing. And this is the service. We can also select the service and uh, what it takes. It takes one twenty dollars. And then it, what it costs to use ten dollar. And then you can also configure the product tags and then companies in which it will be available and uh, hours. Uh, here we can get uh, the sales. What is the what will be the sale uh, showing on? And then this is the purchase. You can also select the vendors as I'm selecting the vendor Usman. And then we can select here the timesheet accounting. Uh, here when you will install the accounting module, it will also be showing here. Okay. Then let's check. Uh, this is this and I mean this gets uh, almost one minute for me to okay I've created this now go going towards the main module of uh, car repair system is actually this in which car repair module system we have a uh, menu items dashboard car repair in which all the exit permissions and billing informations and then checklist information and meeting slots will be available and moreover uh, when I uh, what is the complete workflow uh, I will be discussing as let's 
Und wenn ich mir dort die Website, meine Website, die man auch selbst die Website von uh, yeah, what I'm selecting is okay, create an appointment. <coughs> Uh, this is an appointment for <coughs> automatically typed name and let's suppose giving a random number uh, subject first uh, is um, wash uh, repairing repairing of the car okay repairing of the car okay then selecting the date and month time slot I am getting a few time slot if available if it is available then it's uh, full okay all time slots and then uh, description some description some description okay submit okay slot uh, I need to select a slot actually uh, I need 30 view time slots view time slots I need to configure the time slots here here you can submit and uh, you can so you can show your availability then we can select the time slots here actually it is uh, readable only because I have not managed the time slots from here I will actually can create the time slots availability from here meeting slots ok then first of all I am going uh, to give you an overview, overview of how our uh, car repair system actually works ok let's suppose a repair order is coming and uh, repair order is coming and we name it uh, repair order 2021 and then we just send them we are also assigning to the uh, Usmanias uh, will be assigned this work and uh, date of priority is uh, I need to do it on 8 and here we can save the images here I will be uh, uploading a widget in which you can capture the image directly ok and then client, client is uh, actually the auto repair shop let's suppose it will be client and uh, here we select the phone number uh, phone number and here we can select the mobile phone number and here we select the Usman VR ok one at the rest the name and all that ok then we can select the uh, contact number here and then we will be giving the car okay uh, whose repair is going to be done okay I actually selected this and this is already these fields will be automatically fetched okay then uh, yes granted paid this is mandatory paid nature of this nature of service is uh, when we will be selecting it will automatically be added or you, or you can change the title okay and then this is the text services type and you can uh, detail about the te uh, text and uh, uh, what damages uh, we need to repair and save okay save and close okay this is done uh, okay now we can check the uh, uh, when it will be checked uh, checklist okay now I am creating a new checklist in which uh, I am checking a technician I am assigning it to a technician 121 okay uh, created on description uh, description is check tires okay tires and uh, if it is done then we can select the return or I am assigning it to small gas okay uh, let's suppose I am assigning it to okay okay uh, okay small gas done and then uh, it, uh, it will be the a schedule action will be done to the uh, will be done to the small gas okay of uh, its uh, uh, then it is done we can select from here okay review rating we can give the feedback and rating also time field in which uh, we can we will be telling uh, how much time it will be taking uh, if how much hours it will be taking okay Ta hours and service type is time okay description we can select this description from here and then I'm selecting this uh, time sheet actually needs description uh, deep internal fracture okay then saving it and uh, actually Time field must be an active employed companies. Uh, actually, this is not. The, uh, I have to create a manually new person uh, which I need to select. Okay, then uh, I think so. It's not needed uh, right now. Then I'm creating a create car diagnosis. When car diagnosis will be created, this is a complete workflow. You will be uh, moving from up to down. Okay, uh, then uh, a new uh, uh, car repair order is assigned. Okay. 
uh, and then uh, flower appear okay okay actually i want this to be done okay flower diagnosis when a flower diagnosis is assigned we can uh, assign technician assign a technician assign the technician uh, i'm assigning the scenario assign and then giving the third wife okay yeah uh, this is very important thing actually from your third party services okay uh, i don't know like um, what uh, i don't need now actually i'm opening this and uh, i'm entering the result from your diagnosis report for the application and then uh, estimated time okay estimated time as product and services uh, and more of will be selecting one zero and uh, i will be selecting as product as uh, this and time will be taking okay bye okay one okay uh, this is the vendor field uh, i'm going to tell you uh, if 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 uh, i i have not created any vendor till now you can create from the users okay uh, if uh, uh, vendors are selected we are getting services from the external source we can check this and create if we will be selecting this then we can create vendor bills separately till now we do not ha have any uh, uh, vendors then it will be showing please uh, fill the vendor option okay i, I do not need now uh, then i am going to help it will be showing that no vendor bills is created till now if it's created then it will be showing the count and then repair orders and create code quotation okay create quotation uh quotation order is created okay then uh th th these are the two uh, orders creating created uh and then optional products we can add the optional products if it needed like uh, next only product uh, and the custom other infos and the customer signatures uh, we can get the signature from the image uh, as well as signed on and signed uh, signed by signed by is uh, um, uh, we can add a number as john uh, name as john and date on okay it's it's created on actually august september 3 okay you can say that it is uh, oh sorry this is the signing date okay then I'm going to save it and you can see zero vendor bills till now but repair order is created okay then we can send the email and confirm or confirm also I'm going to confirm this order and then we can check the bill order or we can check a create uh, create invoice okay, actually I'm going to duplicate this tab and show you what will be the workflow actually uh, if we can create the invoice we will be moving towards checking uh, its regular invoice drone payment or fixed payment okay create a draft invoice no journal item actually you have to configure the uh, journals uh, which is Odoo uh, if you are living in UAE then you need to configure the journal items for UAE as uh, someone is living in Pakistan someone is living in India they have to configure that actually uh, I will be configuring that for you and view work orders view work order in the work order you will be checking that what order is created and what uh, on which time it was created uh, more and this actually and stop okay now we can save uh, this and uh, uh, this was our order this was the time field time field as uh, getting what services what etc we will be giving okay they, they will be coming here okay then uh, then we will be starting the work as work order is started now next we can cancel the order pending or finished if it is finished and we have completed the work then we can clearly create exit permissions this is the exit permission order for that and then save okay and then billing info uh, we will be uh, checking the sale order created in this as sale order here this is the sale order created okay we can uh, also uh, print the uh, quotes it is a each and everything from here okay this this is the invoice created okay actually then uh, we can see the work orders uh, and more uh, actually I want to show you something 
uh, uh, giving info and then quotation orders quotation orders uh, and then uh, we can see the invoice and vendor bills all, all will be showing here okay uh, till now uh, we have not created any vendor bills and then checklist uh, if uh, for technicians assigned and assigning date and meeting slots i am creating a meeting slot that i will be available on 29 on thursday and at a time that uh, uh, will be available on two time slot will be okay at a time uh, one okay uh, and time slot uh, not it is on actually saying this and this is the our uh, meeting slot that we'll be getting uh, directly from the uh, website okay preparing order and uh, this is this will be our website from the or we can select uh, the uh, availability of our persons okay uh, then uh, more uh, we have not only configured this but, but also the sale orders will be showing from here sale orders these are this this is the sale order we were seeing from our custom module okay then uh, we will be see seeing the purchase order if we have buy bought something from someone then this will be the purchase order and this these are all uh, is separate and whole as a as a test okay then if we have created then we can we will now uh, purchase order and sale order and accounting modules uh, this is uh, inventory where we will be storing the uh, products it is a this is a complete fledge complete fledge uh, module created by uh, usman gas and actually this is available on Odoo app store at more than 250 dollars but uh, you can get and can uh, get free uh, get consultancy uh, at a time uh, from us uh, and i will be showing you uh, and running your business completely uh, thanks you for con uh, contacting me